Hey guys, today we're talking about the ISC2, or ISC squared, <laughs> is really what it is, uh, CC, or Certified in Cybersecurity. For those who do not know, I am a lead cybersecurity analyst. I've been specifically in the domain of cybersecurity for the last three years. And before that, I had two years of tech experience, so five years of IT exposure. I have numerous certifications and numerous courses that I've gone through, and I just wanted to give my opinion about the ISC2CC, uh, how I feel about it, and what you can expect from studying for it and then passing the exam. So first of all, how long does a person typically study for it? Just to preface, I, I didn't study for it. I mean, I've been in the field for this long. I, I knew that I had it. so. Uh, I did not study for it, I did pass it, but the typical person is usually somebody that is new to cybersecurity or trying to pivot into the field. And from the sources I've seen is usually a person studies for a couple of weeks to about a month. Of course, it depends on how often you study. I'm the type of person, I study for like eight hours a day. Um, I mean, I'm currently doing that right now for the certifications I'm studying for. So you can likely get it quicker. You know, of course it depends on your experience as well. If you're brand new, probably take a little bit longer. And just like with anything, I definitely suggest that you take your time, okay? Study things to really deeply understand the concepts. You know, why is something the case? Like why is compliance important? Right, like why should an organization be ISO 27001 compliant? Okay, you don't need to know these compliances at a granular level, of course not, but just a general understanding of why a company would use that and just kind of what it what standard it sets them to. Now, the type of information that you gain from the certification, it's it's a pretty good um, it's a pretty good base. I've, uh, I have had the CompTIA Security Plus. I actually, <laughs> I, I didn't really make time and I didn't really understand how to <laughs> recertify the CompTIA Security Plus. So I let it expire. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I have had that and they are comparable. And which one is more difficult? Well, I can make a specific video about that, but I would say they're about equal. I think if a person is hiring for the Security Plus, they should also put in the description or the CC. I think it does cover about the same type of information. The one drawback is that the CC is not DOD compliant. So if you are trying to get a job with the government, you would need the security plus as simple as that so if you are pivoting into the field i do suggest it there is something else about the cc though that is pretty important and it's part of why i was excited to take the cc and that is that it's a part of isc2 now what does that mean and why does it matter so isc2 has well, for one the I mean, arguably, I I wouldn't argue it. I, I think it's pretty objectively the best certification you can have in cybersecurity, which is a CISSP. That is offered through ISC2. The other thing that I don't really hear a lot about, but I do see it on a lot of job postings and something that I actually w w would like to look into is the CCSP which is the Cloud Certified Security Professional. That was off the top, if that's correct. Hey man, come on, <laughs> I need some points. I need some points on the board. Nah, but, uh, but yeah, uh, that's also a good one. But I bring it up to say, if you do the CC, you will understand the way ISC2 does tests, how they word things, what type of information you should retain from the outline or the exam objectives, right? Because every vendor is different. So just because you've done a lot of CompTIA certifications doesn't mean you're gonna be good doing an ISC2 exam, right? Because these vendors, they phrase things differently. They 
say, oh, learn this from the exam objectives, but then the actual exam kind of does it in an unexpected way, right? So the biggest thing for me as a security, a, a, a practicing cybersecurity professional already was I have an understanding of how ISC2 tests for when I do uh, go take that CISSP. So that's big. The other thing is you can become a member of ISC2 when you get this certification, okay? And here's what that means. You can pay a fee. Uh, when you get the CC, it's a fee of $50 for a year, and you become an ISC2 member, okay? And what being an ISC2 member offers you is you can get discounts on ISC2 learning material. Sure, that's fine. But you can also gain access to certain meetups, okay, to certain networking events being a member. Now, what exactly does this mean for your career? Well, it's up to you, right? I just got this certification, so I also do not know. I have not been to these events yet, but everybody knows and everybody's heard your network is your net worth. And if you're in cybersecurity and you're in this, this, this niche group that is associated with the most coveted cybersecurity certification that exists, which is the CISSP, and you're going out there to those networks and you're actually having intention, you're not just going to network, right? Because that can come off as disingenuous and it's just kind of lame, but also, you know, you have an interest in the field. Go because you're interested in the field, but also the side quest is you are networking, is you are meeting other individuals that are probably hiring managers, right? They are probably looking for good talent and personality in and of itself. So that's another thing to take into account that the CompTIA does not have, as far as I know, I have not heard of it, is that when you're doing the ISC uh, 2CC instead of a CompTIA Security Plus, which I suggest you get both, um, but when you are choosing to do that, you now have access to a potential network, okay? And um, that's pretty nice. You can also put that on your LinkedIn profile, and now you come up in certain searches that you that you otherwise wouldn't have before. So that's how I wanted to frame this certification, is not just in the knowledge that you gain, which again, it is a pretty good base knowledge of cybersecurity, but also just looking at the vendor, okay, the, the organization behind the certification is, they hold weight in the field, okay? It's kind of like, you know, you went to Stanford or, or, or Harvard. Well, now you have access to the alumni, right? You can more easily reach out to people and the ISC too has certain standards for their members as well. So it is people that do care more. And I think if you are an ISC two member and you're reaching out to another ISC two member, they would be more inclined to answer your questions, um, which they might not have otherwise done. I don't know, that's just, it's my hypothesis. Just remember that you are not entitled to a response as well, actually, because something just came up recently and someone said, you didn't review my resume, blah, 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 all these things. I don't owe you anything, buddy, okay? Uh, I, I feel like me and the viewers, we have a mutual thing here, right? I produce this free content that you're able to absorb and then some of you choose to pay as a member, which I would give you guys special attention, right? Special value, but I don't know. There's a few people that reach out to me and they feel entitled to me and my resources. So that's besides the point. Um, just know that when you are reaching out to not expect something, okay? Uh, but anyway, this has been my review of the ISC2 CC and some ending thoughts is I do suggest it. I do think regardless of where you are at in your cybersecurity journey, uh, you should do it or get some type of ISC2 certification, right? It doesn't have to be the CC if you're already a practicing professional, obviously. Uh, your 
mileage might go further with a different certification. But, um, but yeah, I do suggest it for both uh, practicing professionals and people getting into the field. So as always, if you found this video valuable, give it a like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.